Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. I'm actually refilming the um, intro of this vlog because it just made sense to the first intro. Doesn't make sense anymore because plans have changed. Anyways, I am in Hanoi currently, but this vlog is um, of Conrad and I traveling from London to Hanoi and also our quarantine experience. We had actually originally planned to um, surprise my parents so I didn't really want to share very much in my previous videos um, of where we were at. I still wanted to pretend that I was still in London basically which is why the last two videos I uploaded was still in London even though we've been here for now this is our third week now. We had obviously a two week quarantine already. I actually explained in the vlog what happened and how my parents found out about us being here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to nevertheless still restart this intro because it just didn't make sense anymore. Just to give you guys a bit of a context of this vlog um, and like the layout of it, I start in London, of course, in my, in my flat in London, and I actually do a handbag reveal. I actually have three and a half handbag reveals in this video scattered around <laughs> but um yeah i start with one handbag reveal and then it's us traveling from london to qatar first and then from qatar we flew to vietnam we had a bit of a layover there for like 14 hours and then we as soon as we landed hanoi we went straight to our quarantine hotel which um we stayed at sofitel metropole um so kind of just like our experience the flying process as well as the um, quarantine process um, and yeah, now as you guys can see, I'm back in my own flat in Hanoi, super excited. Um, so I'm gonna let the vlog begin now. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys this bag before I left because I'm not bringing this with me to Hanoi. But I just received this in the mail and unboxed it. And oh my god, it's so freaking beautiful. Um, I ordered this off of Vestiaire. This is from 2006 Marc Jacobs mirror bag collection. Um, I actually had several different styles and several bags saved in my vestiaire like favorites. Um, knowing I wanted to purchase something one day, I just like couldn't decide at the time or just put it aside knowing that like I'll eventually get it. And as soon as Virgil dropped his Fall Winter 21 collection with the mirror bags as well, I was like, okay, I need to quickly buy these buy this bag before um before the price jacks up because that's what happened with the Murakami bags um when I used to buy them before they were so much more affordable and now they've just gone up in price so much um understandably because it's more in demand and whatnot so anyways I just jumped on this and bought it because I've been wanting it okay I just checked it is a speedy 40 um I'm not very familiar with the speedy sizes this is actually the second speedy I own the other one I own is a smaller um I think it's the 25 one and it's just the Murakami cherry edition one as you can see it's not in mint condition you can see some micro scratches and you can see from actually this might be a little bit of me because I just stuffed the crap out of this bag it did come with its original dust bag which was really nice I don't think I shared um, what of the inside I don't know why I didn't open up to show you guys the inside the inside it is perfectly fine and yeah I just had it stuffed basically and the dust bag is also on the inside um, and realized I was like making it a little bit worse my bad but yeah these creases but when you step back um, because of the mirror effect it's not very visible um, but when you get closer here are the vestir tags I haven't taken off yet um, when you get closer you can definitely see them. this side is a little bit better but you can yeah you can see the scratch there um, there's a tiny smudge there. Maybe I can just clean that. But yeah, it is otherwise in pretty good condition. Second thing I wanted to mention also is that I knew um, from the listing they had mentioned that the bag um, doesn't didn't come with the lock and key. Either they didn't want to sell with it or they lost it, whatever it is. I knew the bag wasn't going to come with it and I just figured that was the easy, one of the easiest things to replace on the bag. Anyway, I can just purchase a lock and key. Um, separately, so that didn't bother me very much. And the handles in pretty good condition. Again, more micro scratches, but nothing too bad.
gonna compare the his and hers little um, care pouch. Oh, you've taken everything out. Okay. We've got eye masks and then socks. And then, uh, and then we both got these. Are they just the same? Are they all the same? Yeah. It's just a different um, pouch. Yes. So we got earplugs, lip balm, hydrating mist, and moisturizer. And moisturizer. So it's just the bag that's just the difference. <clears throat> Just got into our hotel room um, in Doha Airport because we have a long ass layover. This is a massive shower, by the way, for an airport um, hotel. Love it though, very nice and spacious. My little outfit of the day. I'm wearing my Louis Vuitton Totoro collab um, hoodie and then Zara pants. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we have a long ass layover here, so got a room to stay for the night. It's literally like a 14 hour layover. And over here, there's a quite a nice view of the airport. It's obviously quite empty, but yeah, the shops are actually open. Anyways, oh my goodness, I am exhausted. But that was a pretty smooth flight to be fair. Um, it was my first time on Qatar airlines um, I've never flown it before we literally sorry if I look like crap but you know we, we, we all know we just got off the flight so um, we literally just booked whichever ticket that was available we've been like like I said we've been trying since like November December time and it was really difficult um, and that you know the usual airlines that I go for it doesn't usually like isn't isn't flying from London to know at the moment so anyways whoo out of breath so we we're taking guitar which i'm not complaining it was actually kind of cool to like because i've never taken guitar airways Wow, guys, this is the biggest business lounge I've ever experienced. There's an eating area upstairs that way or that way. Which one do you want to go to? This one. This one? Okay. So we decided to go to this side of the lounge, which is, I think, the buffet. Is it this the buffet? But you can also order a la carte here. 
Whereas the other side, it's just a la carte or something. Yeah. I just got me some soup. Some, I just ordered some fresh OJ and then some bread. It's like all I can stomach right now. I just don't feel like I have an appetite. What are you having? Fried rice and... It's like a chicken match, but it's kind of like a biryani rice dish, yeah. Did you also order risotto? Yeah. It, uh, still <laughs> are you gonna, what? Are you gonna be able to finish? Well, I want you to pick up some stuff as well, you know? Thank, Thank you. you. So freaking empty. <laughs> She's our escort escorting us to wherever we need to go. Usually we leave through those doors but we're getting escorted out here, so this will be interesting. We made it to our hotel room and we got the most amazing news ever because when we were flying over, we were told we had to quarantine for 21 days. Was it 21 days? At first. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, we just we were just told that actually it's 14 days. They've just changed their like decision today. I don't know like who makes these decisions, but anyways, they're doing 14 days now. So I oh, so excited. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the room that we're staying in for the next two weeks. We're at Metropole Hotel, which is actually in like the middle of Hanoi. So we were able to see a bit of Hanoi nightlife on the way over, which I don't know, I loved it and hated it at the same time because I was just so jealous of everyone being able to be out. <laughs> but yeah, this is our room. Pretty simple. Love all the dark wood. Little fan. We're just about to get out of these really cute outfits. And then here is our toilet with amazing bathtub, which I will be using as soon as I take everything off because I need a bath. Just noticing all of these little COVID necessities. <laughs> and these are random, like I honestly don't know why they have scissors there, but I love that they um, use Hermes bath products because I'm hoping they're gonna be good. <laughs> Um, I usually don't like using any of the hotel kind of products. Um, so cute, like a little bath salt. We just got some pho ordered in. The first bowl of Vietnamese pho in Hanoi. Super excited. Guys, I forget how pretty this place is at nighttime. It lights up. I mean, I can't see. This is not the greatest view of it, but you can see. All the fairy lights. Literally, I'm sticking my hand out the window to show you guys because look, it's like kind of locked, so I can't show you guys. I'm like, I can't open the window fully. I thought I'd show you guys our welcome package when we got into the hotel room the other night. Um, just in case anyone's interested in how like Hanoi is functioning when it comes to their hotels, or at least the Metropole. I don't know if all hotels are running like this. But um, this was the welcome package we got. Um, it looks like a lot actually, it's not that much. <laughs> but obviously our welcome letter and kind of like rules and where to go and like contact numbers if we need anything. Um, 
you know, stuff that's in the, a list of things in the room that will help us. Just a general, you know, laundry surface, departure, stuff like that. Then we have a bunch of meals, uh, menus here. We have a breakfast, lunch, dinner menu. This is a regular menu, but then also a vegetarian version. So as you can see inside, there are several options. You can either do set options, like full sets, um, or you can go for more like the a la carte style, um, or you pick, you know, whatever you want separately. And then there's also a vegetarian menu, which, which, which has the same layout um, with the set menu or the a la carte version. Oh, yeah, vegetarian menu, Indian selection. So yeah, there are also three restaurants within this hotel that we can also order from. So I'm loving all the option and choices, um, except this one actually, La Belieu. There's also Spice Garden and Angelina. Um, I've actually eaten Angelina uh, several times, but I just remember, yeah, they only had like bar bites, small dishes. I don't remember eating like a full uh, full on meal in there, but they might have some. I've definitely like sat in there for, you know, non-alcoholic drinks with my friends <laughs> while they have alcoholic drinks, of course, but it's more like a place for drinks. <laughs> but yeah, I don't drink, so that's why. And then there's the Spice Garden, which looks like Vietnamese food. Mostly Vietnamese food, yeah. And then La Beaulieu, which I'm not pronouncing right, is the only menu that um, I probably will not order from because I don't eat anything on this menu. I basically don't eat anything bougie is the thing because like, I don't eat seafood, I don't eat like, I mean, I eat like fried beef but not Australian tenderloin beef. Like, I don't know, sounds just too much or too fancy. I'm not a fancy food person mostly because I just really like comfort food. Um, and yeah, and I don't eat any seafood or fish. Um, I don't eat most meats, although of course I eat pork and chicken. It's just, yeah, not for me, but it's yummy. Also, I think that's the most expensive menu to be fair. Yeah. Anyways, and then there's a wine list, which I don't drink. And then there's a beverage list, which is nice. Lots of fruit juices, which I'm really happy about. And I'm just hiding the signatures here, but um, this was uh, a disclaimer form we had to sign because um, Softel Metropole is considered a luxury hotel. Um, however, because obviously we're in quarantine, they cannot um, give us the full luxury Metropole <laughs> experience here. So there's two of those. Then here is information about our testing. Um, we got tested on, like this, yesterday actually, the, the first uh, full day that we were here. It does say that you get tested a couple hours after you arrive. However, we arrived at like midnight and arrived in the hotel at like one in the morning. So um, yeah, they decided to do the test the next day in the morning. <clears throat> So that was that, and then we also have to fill out a form for, there's four of these, they give us four. I think, <clears throat> I think two each once when we get tested in the beginning and once when we get tested in the end, because um, we have one more test on the 13th day of our quarantine. And then this is the, um, well back to the food. They gave us a whole, oh, this is all the same. It's just um, how we order food. We write what we want, and we write what time we want it, and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's how everything's working here. I just wanted to show you guys how we get our food. We have this table that literally just stays out here the whole time um, to prevent us from leaving. I mean, <laughs> you guys know what I mean, but like, so there's literally only like, I guess, two, two other guests here. Those doors are probably empty. But um, yeah, so they just leave the food here. We take it, they knock on the door and then we bring it in and then once we're done, we just leave it out here and then they'll take it away. Conrad and I are sharing some Indian food because um, we just had, we had like ordered our breakfast quite late, um, literally like two hours ago. So not too hungry. So today is actually Chinese New Year slash Lunar New Year slash Tet slash Spring Festival 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 
however you guys call it. I want to show you guys my outfit. It is the year of the metal ox, which means the lucky colors for 2021 are white, silver, and aqua blue. Obviously red is always a lucky color, always. Um, I did read somewhere that green and yellow are also lucky too, but anyway, I am only wearing aqua blue and white and my underwear is red and white so I am in every like I'm head to toe lucky colors my lips are red my eyes are blue I know this is kind of crazy like with the red and the blue I usually oops sorry I can't turn off my phone please um I usually go with like one bold color not two but I am just piling on all the lucky colors onto me because we need all the luck for 2021 <laughs> So this is my outfit for tonight, um, nothing too spectacular, but um, I actually completely forgot to pack an outfit for New Year's Eve. I mean, obviously because I knew I'd be quarantined anyway, so I was like, oh, I won't need to like think of an outfit. But then today I woke up, I'm like, of course I have to wear the lucky colors and like, you know, what about a cute Instagram post? <laughs> so I dug whatever I had in my wardrobe, uh, in my, sorry, in my luggage. And luckily I had some blue things i don't have any red though except red underwear but um i found this blazer that i got from asos um it's got blue and white and then this louis vuitton dress kind of like a tight dress i love the little pockets there um i wore this to the louis vuitton show in paris like two years ago i think the year before last is what i mean um, I haven't worn it since so I thought I would bust it back out and that's it. <laughs> Conrad is wearing a Bape Milo Coca-Cola collab red shirt because this was the only red that he had. This would have been more perfect for like Year of the Monkey but yeah. as long as you're wearing red and My it's got... My boxes have a little bit of red too. That's good. Anyways guys, I know this is probably the most depressing Chinese New Year Eve or Lunar New Year Eve or Tet Eve dinner you guys will have ever seen. Um, but like I said earlier, we haven't had really good appetite recently. Ooh, it's a bit dark. Um, we haven't had, we haven't had good appetite since we got here. Um, jet lag and the moving around and the temperature really affects the both, of, both of us a lot so in general it usually just takes us a little bit to adjust so yeah just haven't been eating properly had a super late lunch and just like honestly not really hungry for dinner so not celebrating Chinese New Year or Tet in a traditional way that I usually do because even in London I would have probably made a nice dinner with some friends or something I mean obviously this year is different lockdown whatever but on a normal year, would have like a nice big meal, um, and it had it always would be a Chinese, like Asian meal. Tonight, all I feel like having is just a nice Caesar salad, something super light, something I can just snack on, basically. out but it is a beautiful another beautiful day out it's been so sunny since we've arrived um can't wait to be able to go outside anyways we're actually currently cleaning up this room well lunch just came so we're gonna also eat as well but eat and also clean up and pack up because my dad messaged me this morning and he wait i didn't even tell you guys in the vlog my parents found out oh my god Okay, wait, I, <laughs> so.
So I was supposed to surprise my parents um, and not and they were supposed to not know we were here until we left quarantine. But um, the other day, like literally a third or fourth day in Hanoi, I emailed our solicitor in London because we're trying to get my London flat sorted. And even within that email, I said, please don't let my parents know I'm in Hanoi because um, they wanted me to sign some papers. I told them it might take a minute. I need to like get reception to help me print out st print stuff out and like I don't know how long or how the how it works here, you know, with whole quarantining and stuff. So I was just kind of explaining the situation. And even within the email, I said, please don't let my parents know that I'm here. And guess what they did or what, what the solicitor did. He freaking CC'd my parents into the email. I think he CC'd my parents into it because I was making a payment and he wanted to confirm that he received the payment, so he wanted to confirm it to my parents as well. But when he CC'd my parents back into the email, they could see my previous email saying that I'm here. And my dad messaged me and was like, are you in Hanoi? And it was just a mess. So they found out super gutted because I we like have been playing this for like months and they had no idea and we were doing well until that email got sent anyways it's fine these things happen I called them up anyway and I just said surprise on the phone <laughs> super awkward because it would have been better to like see them in person to surprise them and all but whatever I'm over it um because my dad messaged me this morning and he said that he upgraded our room. What the heck? Super spoiled and super lucky. So I'm super excited. Um, oh, it's like a family doing a photo shoot outside, actually. Cute. <laughs> it's like a wedding. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, um, so we're currently packing up because we're moving to um, another suite. I think it's called the Charlie Suite or something like that. I can't remember the name. Um, and yeah, so I will show you guys that room when we get there, obviously. <laughs> This is today's lunch. I decided to go for a club sandwich, although I asked for no mayonnaise and no turkey ham, and then fries on the side. Okay guys, we just got to the Charlie Chaplin Suite. We have a little sitting area, dining, a little desk. It's okay. A little t mini toilet. Well, it's not mini, but it's just a little toilet compared to this one here in the bedroom. But our bed, dressing table. I guess this is the closet. Cute. And then the bathroom. Bathroom looks the same as the other one. Cute. Today marks exactly one week of our quarantine, um, so halfway there, <laughs> I am bored out of my mind. So as you can see, I've decided to put on this Victor and Rolf dress that I bought on sale. Um, I haven't had a chance or like any occasion to wear this too. So I thought I would put it on and walk around and just feel fabulous. I took some pictures earlier. Maybe it's easier to see from here. Cute. I actually love this dress so much. It's so much fun. It says, I am not paid to wear this dress. <laughs> I just love the colors and all the ruffles. Super cute and um, obviously reminds me of one of the most iconic Victor and Rolf runways. Um, of course, this is just like a ready to wear piece, but super cute. So we're just about to have some lunch. Um, we had some fruit earlier. Conrad started on his soup already and I'm just about to have my steamed egg. They also brought like so many of these because I mentioned that I liked um, star apples. I call these milk fruits, but I just Googled it the other day and actually they're called star apples. 
um, but they taste like milk and they look like milk on the inside, so that's why I call it milk fruit. Um, so I ordered some more yesterday and then they like brought more today. I'm like, oh my goodness, okay, I need to get on it. To show you guys a little reveal um, from Chanel that I picked up before I left. Um, obviously, I took it out of the box and everything because I wasn't gonna travel with it. But I did pick up a little something from the latest collection. Look how freaking cute! If I can get it out, there we go. <laughs> Look at this pouch. Okay, the best part is. The chain so it's actually like a belt pouch and obviously I fell in love with the chain and color combination I did see this chain on other ba uh, bags as well but I didn't really, really like the style or the colors that they chose I think it was like a yellow bag I can't remember the other one maybe black um, I just thought this blue was super super cute especially in this like tiny little pouch situation and like teeny bags oops excuse me that's gross it's just Hairs. Teeny pouches are, have been and still are super popular so I just thought this would be a cute little addition because I have like a tiny little round purple Chanel, I have like a little black one as well, um, I have like a red little necklace pouch and now I have this little blue one which I think is freaking adorable and like I said I love the chain, the color of the chain and of course the little charm that comes off it, um, the little Chanel charm. So I'm going to try it on with a little outfit that I just have on now. I have a bikini on top. This is just because it's comfortable to walk around in this. <laughs> it's from H&M. And then I have my Chanel denim on. So here's the little belt bag on top of the denim. I have it on the last link possible, which is pretty much perfect for me. Um, I imagine this being really cute with just like a bikini on as well, although because I like to douse myself with oil for tanning, I probably would not <laughs> feel comfortable wearing this if I am covered in tanning oil, but I think that'll be cute too. I think this would also be really cute with low, low rise jeans, which I just don't have any with me. I only have like high waisted pants with me in my luggage, but I'm sure in my closet at home in Hanoi. Um, I have some low rise stuff. I think that look really good with this too, but I thought I would just put this on to show you guys what it looks like. Cute. Day nine of quarantine, and today I've requested corn on the cob for lunch, um, and then a side of crispy bacon, as well as sliced tomatoes, because they keep giving us these like bread baskets, which we haven't really eaten very much of so I'm just gonna make little mini simple sandwiches just shove bacon and tomato in there I just freaking love this combination anyway so yep and then Conrad's having what salad is this again uh it's, they call it a modern salad modern it's salad quite a mix yeah and then also some corn on the side as well so excited for dinner i literally just asked for like instant noodles oh my god yum i just wanted like just simple noodles with some egg and veg hey guys it is day 10 of quarantine today and this morning i decided to put some makeup on because i was bored we took a bath 
And then I decided to put like kind of like 90s inspired, really just smoky brown eye makeup on. But the lips are like, I kind of, I had some pizza as well, so it's kind of rubbed off a little bit, but I lined my lips darker. Um, yeah, just taking some pictures just to pass time. I thought I'd bring you guys to some natural lighting so I can show you guys the makeup. It is a bit too bright, but it's better lighting than the yellow awfulness that we were just in. It is blown out a little bit. I feel like it's darker in real life, but yeah, I had fun putting makeup on today. <laughs> It's day 12 of our quarantine. <laughs> it's day 12 of our quarantine, guys. And the most exciting thing we're doing today are face masks. <laughs> these are from Jacob. We got these for Christmas from Jacob. And we're going to use them because we want to look fresh and fab when we leave quarantine. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, Conrad's just cleaning our shoes at the moment because there's nothing better to do. <laughs> But to be fair, they need, they need a bit of a clean anyway. Um, I'm actually really bad at keeping my shoes clean. I never really scrub them or clean them, to be honest. So I'm very grateful that Conrad actually usually does the cleaning of the shoes after we come back from a walk. So now my shoes are all fresh and clean all the time. It's just nice. <laughs> my mom would appreciate that because she hates me borrowing her shoes because I always make it dirty and ruin them. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad got mushroom spaghetti for dinner and then I got a trusty old bolognese, my favorite. And then of course, the best part, which is the cheese. Maybe I should take this off first because I don't actually want to eat that. Yummy. Oh, and also fruit salad. It's day 13 of our quarantine, and we're just on our way back to our room from our COVID test. It's the most exciting thing, we got to leave our room for like two minutes. <laughs> Guys, it's officially the last day of our quarantine. It's day 14, um, and we got our test results back this morning. We got a text message from reception who said that our tests came back negative which is great because that means we get to leave today. Um, although, like I said yesterday, we can't leave until about midnight tonight, pretty much 11.55, which is the time our flight arrived 14 days ago. So we still have a bit of time left. It's only like just afternoon. We just had some lunch. I just had a Caesar salad again. Um, and yeah, as you can see behind me, I have my last two bag reveals I wanted to share with you guys in this video. Um, I actually was thinking, did I already share this bag yet? I can't remember. I don't think I have. This is a Loewe tote that I bought at a private sale, basically. Um, I didn't share it. I mean, I'm pretty sure I shared other things that I bought from the sale, but maybe not this, um, because I had bought two of these, one in the black version, and then this one. Um, and the black version was Kyle's birthday gift. Um, I was going to give it to him whenever I see him, whenever we go to the beach together, but because plans change and COVID and everything, it's not easy for me to get to Kyle this year. So we ended up having to just send each other our birthday presents and stuff like that. So he's received his already. So I thought I would share the one that I got for myself. Look how adorable this shell charm is. This was a, this is also by Loewe. Um, but it was a gift from Iping, um, and her Instagram name is Plumtree. And I just thought it looked really, really cute on this tote. I mean, this charm just fits with everything. Like, all my Loewe um, bags just look so, super cute. The color and the shape of this just, like... And I, I love how oversized this charm is. Um, it just works with a lot of my Loewe bags. And I just thought it looked cute on this one. So I'm going to just give you guys a little close-up. I brought it with me to Vietnam because this is just not a bag that I'd be using in London. Um, 
Ideally, I'd like to go to the beach or something with this, but I don't know if I'll have time. We'll see. I mean, like, hopefully I do. Here's an interior. Got a really nice big pocket at the back. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and of course the strap, which I haven't taken out. So here is the bag with the strap on. I really like the length of the strap, actually. I was expecting it for it to be a little longer because um, as you can see, I hadn't opened it yet. And I'm just realizing now it sits so nicely. This is like the perfect um, length for me. It's not too low, not too high. It's like a nice resting um, level and then super easy to open up and get whatever I need inside. It's just like the perfect length to be honest. So I'm really happy with that. Maybe I would have preferred if they had some feet at the bottom. I always like feet at the bottom of bags, especially when they're structured because I always tend to put my bag on the floor and such. So, um, but I'm not too worried. My last reveal for this video, um, you guys would have seen earlier in this video of me shopping for this bag at the airport in Doha. So I did end up picking something up because one, I've been wanting this bag for a while and two, they were, it was 50% off. So I was like, this is the best time. Let me just sit back down for this part. Whew. It's awkward just bending over like that. So. I ended up going for I ended up going for the kiwi color again because I just can't get over this color. I think it's so beautiful. I've taken this bag out of like the bag, the shopping bag, like so many times to stare at it and to squeeze it because it's just so luscious and so cuddly and so soft and squidgy. I love it so much. Um, and the color is stunning. Of course, I brought my Bottega Mules back with me in the same kiwi color that I got in Milan and they match perfectly, of course, the exact same color and I cannot wait to wear them together. Um, this is just freaking adorable. I'm going to show you guys the inside because I have the straps tucked inside. So basically you kind of pull this down. It's got like a hook mechanism and then the straps are on the inside. Here is the interior. It's got a pocket in there with a little booklet. It looks like the pocket is detachable, but it's not. But like, yeah, this whole thing is that pocket there. Here it is with the strap out, and then it's got the signature triangle buckle, which I love so much. When I was at Doha, I asked for all the different colors of the chain bags that they had, and they only had three different colors, and they were like neutrals. There was like a beige one. No, there was a black one and like I can't remember the other color but the colors I wasn't so keen on so I passed on them and then I decided to just look at the cassette bags that didn't have the chain on it they had so much more option and the colors the color range was just incredible saw the green the kiwi color and I was like you know what I just I can't get this color out of my mind okay, so that was my last reveal I freaking love this bag and like I said I still do love the purple and I definitely want to find a style um, a bag or shoe in that purple. I just can't get enough of Bottega colors. Like every color they come out with are crazy, crazy good. Um, and I love the purple. So it's, that's the next on my wish list, Bottega wise. But that is the last reveal that I have in this video. Um, I think I might end the vlog here, guys. All we're gonna do today is sit around and do nothing and then go home and it'll be like midnight by then. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Leave any questions or comments you guys have down below hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already and would like to come and catch up with me again and until my next vlog bye guys